In this video, I'll show how you can create points for sampling in the field, for example. But this time, the sampling method is stratified random. So you are going to sample within a stratum or various stratum. These could be classes, categories, and then you're going to sample randomly within each one of those classes. What you see on your screen is a DEM, so it's an elevation of a specific area in South Africa. And I've gone and created classes. So five classes of this DEM ranging from 833 meters above sea level to 2135. What I want to do is create points within each of those classes, so those five classes, that I would then go to and sample at. So for example, I'm interested in soil chemistry or the gradient of an area, anything like that. I want to select within each stratum the same number of points. Now we have five classes, and if I want, for example, 100 points, I would like 20 sample points per class. So how do I do that? So I've created the classes of the DM as you see it here. This is a raster surface. What you would then have to do is to create a vector version of this. Now the tools in R Pro require you to work with vectors. So you'd have to first vectorize the output into the five classes as you see them now, um, but this time obviously in the vector output. Then, because normally you create a, multi -part, uh, a a single part feature, you'd have to dissolve. What you want is a feature class th that gives you the total area per each class. So for that, you would then have to create a dissolve first. I'll show you how that looks um, in the attribute table here. So I've taken all my individual polygons from the reclass DEM and I've dissolved them on that class, so one to five classes, and then I've created geometries, the area and the perimeter of each particular class. Now this is the pre-processing that is required for you to then do the sampling interval. To then create your points within each of these classes, you would use the Create Random Points tool, which is open on the right-hand side here already. If you are unfamiliar with this tool, please have a look at my video that talks about creating random points. So you have to specify your output location on your hard drive and give this one a name. So I'm going to create random points, but this is now within a stratum, so this is called Stratified Random sampling actually because within each stratum so each category or class you are going to randomly select in this case 20 points if I want a hundred points in total then the constraining feature class is the feature class that has the stratum so this one from in my case here is the reclass DEM dissolve there's one last thing that you'd have to do to be able to use this effectively so if you open the attribute table you'll see that I have a field called sample. I've added this field. So the grid code is obviously the value that gets taken over from when you vectorize. And then the sample field is a field that I created. So how do you do that? You just simply say add, and this will open the field tab, and you can just specify the field name. So for example here, I would have said sample, and it's, an, it's a numeric field. And then what you do, is that's why um, you need the area field. So you are interested in a proportionate amount of samples per class. That's what stratified random sampling is. So you would calculate this. So you would say right click and say calculate field. And then you would specify the area of that particular class. Right. So you would say area divided by the total area of everything. So I've added all my five classes together and that is the area that you see there. This is now in square meters because my feature class is in a planar projection which is UTM, so it's in meters. And I want 100 sample points. So it's 100 sample potential points times the area of my individual class divided by the total area of my field extent or my study area. And when you say, okay, this is what you come out with. So my class one has 24 sample points, class two has 28, and so forth. This then becomes the input to your create random points tool. So the extent, the constraining feature class is the, the DEM, the dissolved DEM that you see here. 
And the number of points or how you're going to select your points is now field based, not long. So if you look at the create random points video, you'll see that I just specified a hundred points to use. And therefore I specified the long feature class, which is an integer. But now I want to, to create the points per field. So these are my classes. And here I will then say it's the field and specifically the sample field. So what this is going to do now, it's going to create a hundred random points per class based on how many samples should occur in that class, which you see here. So I want, for example, in category one, 24 points. So the tool will now randomly select 24 points within that elevation class.